Oh yeah, yes, you'll see what you saw Wayne Trace, where we're going to throw the ball around and we've got some athletes to do it. Cole Harmon, I mean, we're still going to run the ball too. We've got Cole Harmon back in the backfield and, and uh, you know, he's a pretty spectacular athlete. I'm expect, expecting a really big year out of him. I'm really excited because we're going to be running the ball a lot and passing the ball a lot, so looking to get a lot of yards in that. Been doing a lot of more, like, working on more upper body strength than lower body because I've always been like a lower body lifter, but I've been working on upper body lately. And plenty of strength on the defensive side of the ball for an Elida team that won four of its last five ball games in 2015. We have all 11 starters back, so uh, we're pretty excited about that. We got the no fly zone back and all that, so pretty excited. Defense should be a pretty strong part of our team this year. I'm really excited about the amount of athletes that we have on this team. You know, have, we have a lot of returners. Most of the defense is back from from last year, and they were young last year and still went six and four. Uh, so I'm expecting some big things out of this. I, I think that we can make some noise, and and we've got some some good athletes coming up in the younger grades. So there's there's some uh, big potential for some really good years coming up here at Elida. Elida adjusting to the new offensive and defensive approach very well. Transition's been going really good. Kids have really bought into the program. They're doing a real good job of uh, getting the offense and defense down. Uh, they're really excited about the, the things that our, our offense and defense can do potentially. Um, we, we've had to really get on them about picking up the pace a little bit, and they've really accepted that challenge, and, and they, they're really picking up the pace in practice and, to really go along with the fast pace uh, of the, the way the offense runs. Kraft Stadium was home to the second annual U.S. Plastics Legends of Northwest Ohio football camp back in July, where Coach Speller was reunited with his quarterback that helped lead Wayne Trace to the state finals in 2013. Oh, that was great. Me and Colby teaming up again. We got to coach together a little bit. You know, when I saw that, I was pretty excited, and so was Colby. And uh, uh, his dad was actually here for a little bit too. Mike, who was my defensive coordinator, and it was good to you know, get back with them and, and, and talk and reminisce a little bit. And, and it, was, it was really fun working with Colby one, two, again. Three. One, two, three, work!